My left knee was falling apart more and more and it was getting painful. You know. So I went through the normal procedure and had it x-rayed at the Horton Hospital, uh, then went to see a specialist and I, uh, he agreed that it needed doing. They then got me an appointment, um, no, they got me a decision, which was to come to the uh, Nuffield because that was a centre of excellence for revisions. The revision network is based around 25 centres around the country which really focus on the most complex problems that uh, patients have with their joint replacement. So the Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre is a major centre for this type of work. We're a hub and we sit within the Thames Valley and receive uh, referrals from patients around this region, but also more specifically around infection for patients across the whole of the United Kingdom. You have to register with the admissions and then they send you down to the knee clinic. You register with them and then you wait to see your consultant. Typically the type of problems that we would deal with are patients who may have problems with their joints or who have problems with the treatments that have been offered for your joint. And this would be, for example, someone who's had a joint replacement and now has run into trouble with it. You want someone who's taken an interest in you rather than your knee. You could see there was things wrong with the original half knee and the fact that there was some more deterioration in the joint, so it was really worth uh, doing the revision to a full knee. But in your initial appointment, you will see the surgeon who's going to be taking care of your overall treatment and the other members of their team. I'd like you to uh, realise that we appreciate this may be a little bit worrying that you may have been through a problematic journey to get to us. You'll be coming to a place where we are used to dealing with complex problematic joints. You can ask them any question that you like and they can give you an answer and uh, on the whole they're very helpful. I did a blood test, a fluid test, x-ray, all in the same afternoon and that all went really, really well. So think about your problem, think about the reasons why you're seeking help and think about the questions you have that would specifically relate to that problem. Write down some of the questions you might have specifically because people often forget in the heat of the clinic and um, they're a little bit stressed and a little bit worried. You could have a number of uh, routine, what we call, but important uh, investigations. These may include uh, blood tests, initial radiographs and sometimes uh, specific special scans such as ultrasound scans and sometimes uh, procedures that can be carried out on the same day such as aspiration of a joint or taking fluid or biopsies of a around the joint replacement, for example. Some of the other investigations are more difficult to organise on the same day and will require pre-planning. These include special CT scans, MRI scans, nuclear medicine scans or interventional radiology investigations, or, for example, being reviewed by an anaesthetist or a specialist in infectious diseases for patients who have infections of their joint replacement. These can sometimes be carried out at a future date if necessary. We appreciate that you would like to be empowered in your own care and be involved within your own care. So we would be giving you, for example, physiotherapy exercises and we would want you to be able to engage in those in order to improve your outcome and contacting us if you have any worries or any questions that you might have. We know that if you're more engaged in your care that the chances of a better outcome are higher. Revision networks really work around the fact that the most complex patients need to be seen in an environment that we call a multidisciplinary team environment where you have expertise from many different types of doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, a whole raft of people who can come together, understand these complex problems and create uh, a treatment package for the individual. So once we have the necessary information needed to get to an accurate diagnosis, we would gather this information and take it to what we call a multidisciplinary team meeting. Once this is carried out, we then come up with a working treatment plan which may be either surgical or non-surgical and once we've got this decision within the team we then invite you back to clinic to discuss the options available for your problem. Patients who are cared for within a multidisciplinary team approach usually have much better outcomes 
and this is the modern way of managing complex medical problems. It's really important to understand that the outcome is highly dependent on the reason why the implant has failed, some of which are simple things to fix, some of which are very, very complex things to fix with more variable outcomes. Management of problematic joint replacements can be surgical or non-surgical. Sometimes there's a very obvious cause that can be uh, corrected with surgery and when that's the case then we can go through and discuss the technical aspects of it and the various outcomes related to it. However, there are some, some problems that are not amenable to surgery and carrying out further surgery would actually be detrimental to the patient and actually we have good evidence to show that certain non-surgical pathways are just as good if not better than surgery in specific situations. So we'll bring you back to a clinic uh, in order to, for, you, for us to discuss your uh, diagnosis and the various treatment options available to you. It's not necessarily that once you come to a clinic where we offer you the treatments, you have to decide on them there and then. You'll have plenty of time to mull over the various options available to you. Maybe contact us again for further information. In the center of all this is the patient, is you and we're surrounding you in order to support you and in order to come to an accurate diagnosis and hopefully a optimal treatment plan. If there's ongoing research studies that you might be eligible for, um, they'll be mentioned by your consultant. Uh, you might see someone like myself, one of the researchers in clinic, who might speak to you about whether you're willing to, to take part in, in studies. You'll be given information, you'll be given plenty of time to have a read of it, have a think about it, you're never obliged to take part, but if you'd like to take part, you can then give your consent and go from there. The National Joint Registry is, as the name suggests, a, a national registry um, of all joint replacements. So because almost everyone around the country is being entered into the National Joint Registry, means that we have a huge amount of data about how people are, people's recovery, about which prosthesis might do better than another prosthesis, means that we can try, we can identify any, any problems early on, but also that we can look at people's progress. The team here will be fully focused and dedicated on diagnosing what your problem is, asking you exactly what your expectations are from management of your joint replacements, which is causing problems at the moment, and then be able to tell you that we will uh, bring all the team together to provide you the best care possible. I would want you to be confident that you're going to meet a team of people here at the Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre who will be really dedicated to understanding your problem and will really try to get you the best outcome we can possibly get. Everybody is so pleasant at Nuffield and they put you at your ease. I now walk the dog two miles a day and from starting off with a single crutch and then going to, uh, I don't use anything now, Assuming it carries on getting better, and it, I think it will, it's been a great success. It's, it's all been worth it.